Ah, here it goes. Razor Ramon. It was a long time coming for this figure. There was a lot of speculation whether Mattel was actually going to be able to make figures based on Scott Hall because of some, I don't know, something to do with his past, I guess. But lo and behold, they surprised us. This figure is out. And from what I can tell, it looks pretty badass. We'll get to the specifics of it in a little bit, but the Defining Moments packaging always looks sweet. I really like the Defining Moments line, and uh, I'm glad that they brought it back, even if it's just for, like, one or two figures here and there. I think it's awesome. But, uh, yeah, let's get a look at Razor. So here he is, out of the package and in all of his mid-1990s glory. I found this guy at Walmart, actually, of all places. I was cleaning my room out yesterday, and... Uh, I knew I was going to go out because I was bringing a bunch of stuff over to Goodwill and people were talking about uh, on Facebook finding Razor Ramones in Walmart. So while I was out, I was like, yeah, let me check and see what they got. And you as a toy collector have probably had that moment where you go around the corner to the aisle and you see like a swarm of people in front of where you want to be and you can spot in the distance the glowing beacon of the item that you want and you just hope that none of these kids get in the way of... <sighs> Needless to say, that didn't happen. Uh, they were all arguing about who got to buy the the Rusev and the whatever the Diva is in that basic series. And they left all the Defining Moments Razor Ramones right there. I think there was like three of them. So I grabbed one and went on my merry way. For starters, you can see a lot of great detail with the gold razors painted on the knee pads. And uh, the razor, the word, you know, the stylized logo that he has on the front. And then he's got more of the razors on his elbow pads and his... Um, the back of his trunks. Not this elbow pad, though. This is uh, just a plain black. I seem to remember Razor Ramon always wore one black elbow pad, and then the rest of his gear all matched up. He's got the boots to match. Here's the face sculpt. There's uh, some people saying that they didn't really like the way the face sculpt looked, but in person, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's... I don't know if I would say it's perfect, but it's definitely not terrible at all, by any means. I like how they got the stubble on there, and... Uh, People were saying that they would have liked the inclusion of a toothpick, but I honestly don't know how you could have incorporated that without somebody either losing it within the first, like, second that they opened the box, or just had it be permanently in his mouth. I'm trying to remember if Jack's uh, Scott Hall figure had a toothpick. I don't remember off the top of my head. Somebody can let me know in the comments, but uh, that was the last Razor Ramon slash Scott Hall figure I had was the Jack's R3 series one the in the red and black uh, Wolfpack one. But, um... Be honest, that was so long ago, I can't remember. So he comes with this vest. Nicely uh, detailed Razor Ramon logo on the back. I like that it's not just a plain black vest like Stone Cold would come with. It's got like the buttons on the front and uh, the buckle across the back. Just something uh, specifically uh, tailored, I guess, for Razor Ramon. He also comes with these gold chains. That's all one uh, piece, but it's like layered, so it looks like a whole bunch of different chains. And it's got a little Razor uh, pendant thing on the front. Uh, a little difficult to get up over his head just because of the way the hair like rests over him and the hair is made of like that kind of hard rubberish plastic but you can get him off as you can see and it comes with the classic intercontinental championship i think it's cool to see more figures coming with belts these days um quite a few figures have already come with this belt but it's always nice to have extras too especially if you might have missed the previous figures and this is the classic looking one too so uh the more belts the better am i right here he is next to the new x-pac figure which i reviewed in this video here uh, you can see that Razor stands above X-Pac, which he should. Um, I forget exactly what the height difference is supposed to be. I think Razor Ramon is supposed to be like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, somewhere in that neighborhood. So I think they did a good job capturing his height difference from uh, a smaller guy like X-Pac. We'll also bring in Goldust, who was a rival of Razor Ramon's in the mid-90s. This is a modern version of Goldust, but they were about the same height. And as you can see, the figure measures up... Uh, they're pretty even. I mean, Razor Ramon might be a little bit taller because of his hair, but uh, overall I would say they're pretty compatible here with size. By the way, Mattel representatives, if you're watching, Goldust, let's get a flashback. A nice all gold and silver one from the mid-90s that would go perfect with this Razor Ramon. You're welcome. That's a license to print money. So final thoughts. If you see this figure, get it. It's a good one. As you can see here, I've uh, swapped out the chains that he came with, with one of the old Jax chains. I forget who this came with, but it's actually a loose chain, so it's a little more realistic, and it's a little easier to get, like, around the figure's hair and, like, up over his head and stuff. And it looks cool, so I dig it. Part of the reason why I was so excited to see this figure get released is because that gave me hope for a WCW Scott Hall, like a Wolfpack version, or uh, 
maybe a black and white NWO one for when they came back to WWE in like 2002 or three or whenever that was. Overall, I'm happy we got Scott Hall at all. And whether it's in Razor Ramon persona or in NWO persona, I'm happy to have the figure. So yeah, like I said, pick this figure up if you see him. It's good. You won't regret it. All right. I've been Captain McKay and we'll see you next time.